So going into low back pain, what are the causes or what is going on? So most common causes are these four different conditions that I'm going to talk about. One is degenerative disc disease, DDDs for short, uh, trauma to the area, facet joint syndrome, and then a disc herniation, which some of you might have heard. The first one, degenerative disc disease, this is common in uh, age related. So the older one gets, the more likely one is to experience this type of disease. And what this is, is um, a type of degeneration, a type of degrading of the disc between the vertebra. Like I mentioned, you have vertebra on top of vertebra protecting the spinal cord on the back. And then this little disc are the cushioning that allow free movement, or at least to some extent, some movement and cushioning of the vertebra. But with this condition, the disc starts to degenerate. So the cushioning or the sponginess starts decreasing or sometimes degrading to the point that it, it can hit the top bone with the low bone with the bottom bone and then it can kind of go like sandpaper and slowly start causing pain because that's on the back it's gonna pinch the nerve it's gonna press on the nerves there and that's part of the what this condition is and it can lead to back pain if it's in the lumbar bones here is a picture of somebody who had a gunshot of out their back because this this topic is about trauma or injury which you know a con gunshot is a very serious trauma very serious injury and you can see from this mri that l2 so the second lumbar bone is affected and it's hit so this person is going to require extensive surgery uh, extensive physical therapy for recovery but other things that can also compromise the, the lumbar bones could be high falls. And we're talking like three to four stories. If for a healthy person, but for an older person, that could be more serious if they have a simple fall. Uh, if, and again, physical object with high power. So a car crash or somebody hits you in their car. That could also lead to lumbar damage. But you see like these are very extreme situations because the lumbar bones are very very difficult to actually damage but if it does happen this is how it could happen uh, facet joint syndrome so i'm gonna go step by step what this is so as you can see the picture of the vertebra on top of each other you're gonna have vertebra the cushioning disc another vertebra and then between those vertebra on the back they're gonna have this joint this capsule that wraps around and it's kind of like your finger that allows movement between this part and this part there's a little capsule right here and it has something called synovial fluid you can see it in the picture here too and that fluid allows movement free movement of the joint well, when it's a syndrome, facet joint syndrome, that means that the fluid has either dried up, has been attacked, if it's an autoimmune condition, or it simply degenerates with age, and that can lead to irritation, and now you're, again, you're not moving with bone, the capsule is not providing flexibility, it's just bone to bone, and that's gonna cause pain. In this case, it could cause like localized back pain. Disc herniation. This is probably something you've heard and something that a good construction worker will tell you no matter what is that whenever you lift or a heavyweight trainer, whenever you lift, always lift appropriately. Properly. I'm not going to go into the technique because that's another topic. But if you don't lift 
properly and you just lift with your back if the weight is too heavy it could actually cause what they call throw your back so you have a normal disc and you see it on the left picture on the left side but then when you lift something that you're pushing so much pressure on that disc that it can bulge and when it bulges out it's gonna hit the spinal cord nerves popping out of that vertebra and once it hits that it's gonna cause severe symptoms depending on the situation you may need to just rest or you may need to go to the hospital but one of the symptoms of this her disc herniation is a common injury called sciatica and as you can see on the figure model here that this nerve is going down through the leg because that's what sciatica symptom feels like it's this red well the red just shows where you're going to feel the symptoms it's like shooting pain from the back all the way down to your leg and it can even get to your toe now other problems that could be that could cause back pain but it's not originally back pain this is from non-musculoskeletal causes which is not related to tissue bone muscle uh, ligament tendon not none of that mechanical tissue rather this is more visceral tissue so tissue inside of your abdomen this area your belly and this happens because refer pain is a type of irritation that happens to an organ and it doesn't really specify the location so you're gonna have various types of different sensations when your organ is irritated and we'll get through this list so we'll go through this list explaining how pancreatitis so pancreatitis is an inflammation of the pancreas and if you may know or may not know so here left side you have your your heart here is your stomach and then right between here is your pancreas but it's very deep inside now when you have irritation of this organ you're gonna feel the pain on the back likely sometimes you don't but there is a chance that you might actually feel back pain so that's how organs really work in when it comes to showing irritation or showing damage uh, the other one is the kidney if you see in the picture if you can follow the kidney you'll notice that it's the whole region of the back basically painted and that's because radiated pain from the kidneys leads to back pain and urolithiasis is a word that show that means kidney stone or urethral stone so that's a stone that gets lodged in the tube and it's very severe pain and that can also lead to back pain you could also have abdominal aortic aneurysm which is like the the artery that goes from your heart all the way down to your hips almost and then an aneurysm means that it it extends it gets bigger for another type of pathology another type of disease but when it rupture, it can lead to back pain if that extension is on the back somewhere. That's a medical emergency. You should go see a doctor as soon as possible. Uh, peptic ulcer is an ulcer of the stomach, and it can also lead to back pain. And then a spinal tumor, which is a type of tumor that is growing in the spine. And sometimes it can push on the nerves and cause back pain. 